so we have this first card which is quiet time it says take some quiet time alone to rest meditate and contemplate okay so that's the first message we'll see what that is about specifically or if there's more info around it okay and i'm actually seeing reading is a good thing right now so if you are reading or have an interest in spiritual books things that teach you about spirituality or well-being this is a good time for learning so i'm also hearing withdrawing from technology so having some time away from technology This is to reset. And now I'm hearing there's some, some info or there's some messages around boundaries. Maybe your boundaries have been pushed and you need a reset from that. So taking some quiet time alone to recalibrate your energy field. And some people may also be using technology too much, so they need to step away. <laughs> Here we have the card, kick up your heels. So definitely time for rest. Often we have rest because it's preparation for something that's coming forward for us and we need the energy that in the future to um, ride that wave. I'm not saying that's a bad thing or a good thing, but it's to build up in preparation for it. Okay, so let's get more info about what is coming forward for you or for anyone in this collective that resonates with. So going back to boundaries, I'm hearing say, learn to say no, okay? Learn to say no to others, especially when it crosses your boundaries in terms of your feelings. When you feel that it's not the right answer to say yes, you've got to listen to that. You instinctively know to say N-O, <laughs> but you don't. It's more about like, oh, I wonder what they'll think of me if I say no, you know, or it's not nice to do that. Maybe this is why you may have needed rest as well, because you are just exhausted from whatever you've been saying yes to. Okay, and here we have miracle healing. I mean, the guides are really saying it is time for healing around this. So I'm wondering if this is something you already know to do, but you're just putting it off you're too busy like your to-do list is too big or whatever okay okay so i'm also feeling you could be benefiting from visualizations like relaxation visualizations or yoga nidra which is a um, yoga based it's a audio that you listen to it's not a yoga physical practice but it's for mental relaxation and really helps you recharge your batteries okay and this is the high priestess you have divine knowledge that can help others through your spiritual teaching okay so some of you may be um, getting ready to and you know this goes back to what I was feeling about reading spiritual books maybe this is where you're starting to learn a bit more about spirituality so you can be a spiritual teacher one day or you're preparing for that now and often when we are gearing up for that kind of thing our higher self will indicate we need rest period to build up for it because our energy body needs to be able to channel higher vibrational energy you can't do that when you're really tanked out exhausted okay we'll use this um, divine abundance oracle now it's my dog shaking off <laughs> did you know that when animals shake off they're shaking off stress wouldn't it be that great if we could do that too So here we have true offering, and that's really just offering without any um, strings, I think in line with the teaching, spiritual teaching, and having courage to do that as well, okay? So courage to step forward. When your soul is presenting itself in this 
life purpose kind of way it can be a bit scary but you just step forward knowing it's the right thing to do This is, I'm seeing groups, so this could be for someone who is wanting to teach in groups. Meditation is coming up. Um, maybe Buddhism or things like that, you know. Things that people want to learn about because it broadens their spiritual knowledge, but it also opens their eyes up to more things. Moonology card around this. <laughs> okay, so this card is saying you are good enough, right? So there may be some self worth issues where you need to overcome the, um, you know, it's scary. And that's where the courage comes in. Offering without resistance. See how the hands are just, I'll just show you closer. The hands are just lifting, there it is, lifting, letting the bird go free. seeing that people around you are saying you are good enough or you should do this because you're good at it or it is your path but you are resisting or just putting it off let's say procrastinating not really um, taking action however <coughs> excuse me spirit is showing me and that's the throat chakra when I do readings for people I often cough because it's the, the throat chakra <laughs> I'm empathic and I feel what's going on in the person so spirit is showing me that there are steps and it's like one pebble at a time they're showing me literally you just take one step at a time and it's like you are guided so you know which way to go it's just one step and then the next step will be revealed part of it will be connections with other people that will help you and here your hard work is paying off so you know, this it's worth it, the saying, it is worth it. <laughs> 